I don't think you saw it coming that I would find out about that. I, I mean, I was contemplating like telling you like right away, but I didn't. I real like I really don't think you ever would have. I don't know, because I was. Like, did you even I feel like, bad like, about she, it? Obviously, yeah. I mean, I didn't remember the night that it happened, but when I listen, he remember everything. He does not feel bad, and he was not gonna tell you unless you caught him. Listen, like guys cheating is so complicated. It's it's like I don't I'm not condoning cheating. Like if you love your girl, don't cheat. But I still understand when a guy cheats because it's so easy for a guy to love two people at once. But try explaining it to a woman, it's like, oh, you just don't love me anymore. But it's not that. I love you so much. I love you. I love you a lot. I love you. But my dick sometimes has a mind on its own and I have to feed this motherfucker. Blame dick. Don't blame me. The fuck? I wouldn't do it, but my dick would. Me and my dick has two different personalities. I call him George. I'm Dave and he's George. <laughs> I don't want to cheat on you. It just happens. I couldn't even talk to you, let alone look at you right after. Did you not realize like it was wrong to... till like the next morning when you woke up with this girl? Obviously, yeah, I was like shaking that day. Cause it kind of made me realize like, clearly I'm not good enough. We met off of the dating app Hinge. Oh, um, Oh my God, bro. I do not, let me say this. I do not believe in dating women that I found on dating apps. We're not gonna date. If I'm on a dating app, it's usually just a fuck. It's, I will never date a woman where I find you on a dating app. What the fuck are you doing on a dating app? You looking for love? Yeah, miss me with that. We met up at my friend's apartment in the city for a little pregame. And we started dancing to all the, all the 90s pop hits. I was like, damn, this girl is fit. <laughs> she looked amazing when she was going out. Thanks. You know, a nice, nice dress, heels. Yes. I felt a little short because <laughs> I was in those heels. Yeah. I know I towered over you a little bit. Yeah, but I think okay. you looked good when I first walked in. Yeah. I think you're in like a vineyard vines, of course, looking oh, yeah. all preppy. I always have to wear pink on the first date. Of course. <laughs> but you looked nice. I was impressed. You too. Thanks. Oh. Uh, the first date was on like a Friday night <laughs> going out. And the second date was Saturday, Saturday. night. So <laughs> we're just, I don't know, we both like to go out. So. I know. I think I remember texting. I was like, you're going out again? You're like, yeah. yeah. I was like, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Sent me like 25 texts. You didn't even take me on a date, though. You're like, let's go out. <laughs> you seemed like a fun girl, so I thought that'd be a little better. That's true. Thought we had fun. <laughs> we did. So. I remember you got like wasted and you're like, I feel like you're already my girlfriend, like the first time. Damn, already confessing love on a first date? That's fucking crazy. When did we become a couple? I feel like we really didn't like talk about well, it. Yeah, it wasn't like anything official, it was just kind of, I think like one started day, spending so much time together, so just kind of. Yeah, and I think was... just like one day you call me your girlfriend and I was like, oh, okay. You never really asked me. Come on now. <laughs> I think you knew. So. Yeah, we just like got to that point yeah. where we spend all our time together. Exactly. I think we fell in love pretty fast, don't you? Started moving pretty quickly, so for sure. I think it just like flowed, like it just happened. For guys that's watching this right now, don't fucking date a bitch you found on Tinder or Hinge. Like, don't be that guy. Don't. Don't be that guy. I know there's some success stories, but most of those relationships go to shit. If you want a girl, you're not going to find her in a club. If you want a girl, you're not going to find her on Tinder. If you want a girl, you should find her like at a bookstore. Like this should sound corny, but you should find her at a, a bookstore in life. Meet her in real life. Don't meet her on the internet. There's some successful stories, but it's usually never, it doesn't always end up good. That's just my philosophy on dating apps. Yeah. Kind of, just like everything else. Well, like, you know, that one bump in our road we had about four months in? Bump in a road? Um, I mean, like, I'll get hit on sometimes when I'm out, but I won't ever do anything. But one time I got really, really uh, fucked up with my friends at a club, and I was just started talking to a girl, and I didn't... 
obviously it's no excuse, but like at that point I, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't in my head enough to say no. And it was just a girl I just met. I never knew her before. There's nothing else after it. And then yeah, I went back to her apartment, and then the next night is when you saw the text between me and her. I just like had a feeling and you were kind of like acting a little weird and you weren't texting me so much so I was like I'm just gonna look at your phone and obviously you know like I'm not the type of person like I give you your space and like I'm not like a snoop or anything but I just knew like I had to look and then once I saw those messages that like the girl was like oh I had a great time with you and stuff I was like I'm saying something and like you have to understand that hurt so bad seeing that really? so then once you woke up, I mean, you saw, like, I was hysterical. I was, I didn't know what to do. And then I don't think you saw it coming that I would find out about that. I, did, I mean, I was contemplating, like, telling you, like, right away, but I didn't. I real I didn't. like, I really don't think you ever would have. I don't know, because I was. Like, did you even I feel like, bad like, about she, it? Obviously, yeah. I mean, I didn't remember the night that it happened, but when I. Listen, he remember everything. He does not feel bad, and he was not going to tell you unless you caught him. Listen, like, guys cheating is so complicated. I don't, I'm not condoning cheating. Like, if you love your girl, don't cheat. But I still understand when a guy cheats because it's so easy for a guy to love two people at once. But try explaining it to a woman. It's like, oh, you just don't love me anymore. But it's not that. I love you so much. I love you. I love you a lot. I love you, but my dick sometimes has a mind on its own and I have to feed this motherfucker. Blame dick. Don't blame me. The fuck? I wouldn't do it, but my dick would. Me and my dick has two different personalities. I call him George. I'm Dave and he's George. <laughs> I don't want to cheat on you. It just happens. Even when we do cheat, it's not like we're going to move in with a girl and start a new life. No, it's I, I just want to get this, this, uh, this 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 come out of me i just need to get it out because it, it frustrates me i just for me to be stable i have to come and sometimes it, it i don't want it to be you but you can't say that to a woman she look at you like you you just you have six heads but let's move on i woke up it just started running through my head that we would uh, not be together <coughs> but i gave you another oh. chance you did, but I mean, I tried. I tried to make it work with you. Like, obviously, we didn't talk for a little while, but after that, I tried to be, tried to do everything I can to make it up to you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was kind of scared losing you after all this, just because I didn't know if like you wanted to get with other girls, and if I was just like good enough for you. If you're, no, you're definitely, you're definitely good enough. Perfect for me. Just that when you weren't responding to me in the beginning, even once we started to get back, like just knowing that I could have been the one to fuck up the relationship over something that could have easily been stopped. Like, yeah, I was hurting a lot. Like, obviously I broke down and cried when when we started talking about it, because, you know, uh, I just don't want to lose you. That's the dilemma that men have to deal with. A man constantly has, because he loved this girl, but his dick has a own personality. It's like, you ever seen those documentaries where it's like conjoint twins, where they have two heads, but one of the twins is always happy and one of the twins is always sad, but they're in the same body. That's the same thing with Dick. It's like, yeah, I want to do this. But Dick is like, no, I want to do this. But you're attached to your body. Dick is attached to your body. You can't just be like, right, you know what? I'm going to just block you off and not do it. Yes, it takes a lot of discipline for a man to not fuck other women, but... Can we at least try to understand man problem? Like how we understand mental health? Yeah, men deal with stuff. We deal with a lot of stuff that women will never be able to understand. Like the ability to not fuck another woman is hard. It's hard, especially when you're married and you're in a relationship. It's fucking hard. Now, some women, some women will say, oh, just don't get in a relationship. No, but I love you. I want to be able to love you and fuck someone else. But I know this is like me speaking Spanish. Like you don't understand. That's just what it is, bro. It's, it's, I love you so much like even think about like uh i'm putting it in a christian perspective like we love god a lot of people love god but sometimes we sin it's not that we want to it just fucking happens that's how i look at guys wanting to fuck another woman we don't want to it just happens we're not proud of it look at like he this guy explaining how he cried he cried 
because he don't know what to do. It's like, yeah, I can't tell her it's Dick's fault. Dick made me do it. It don't make sense to her. It doesn't. You can't explain that. But if he tells me, like, if I'm his friend, if he's like, yeah, bro, I fucked another woman while I'm in a relationship, I'd be like, bro, I fucking understand. You know why? Because I have a dick too. This nigga dick is fucking crazy. He just be wanting to fuck everything. You know what I mean? But we can't explain that to women because they don't have a dick. It's it's hard to explain that. The urge, the urge that guys get is a fucking sickness that God gave us because we don't have periods, because we don't have to sit down and pee, because we don't get too emotional. So our punishment is dick and God gave dick its own thoughts and ideas. It's not us. Guys are generally good person. It's dick. Blame dick. It's not us. I mean, I started talking to you after a few days just because, like, I realized, like, you're such an amazing guy and, like, I couldn't imagine myself with anyone else. And it's hard, you know, after, like, we spent so much time together, I just couldn't imagine even just, like, letting you go and never speaking to you again. So, like, I figured maybe I'd give him another chance. Like, I think everyone deserves a second chance to try. So I, I reached out to you. And it was, like, hard because, like, I really didn't want to. But at the same time, I did. And, like, during that time not talking to you, I wanted to, like, reach out and talk to you every second. And I had to, like, hold myself back. Because I wanted, I just wanted it to be, like, how it was. Well, so. and I'm, glad you, I'm glad you reached back out, but... I don't know. Haven't you felt like it's been like normal yeah. lately? Is that, like, does it really feel that much different? I, mean, I, I, mean, feel, I feel like if anything, we've been like better. I think you have like definitely improved, but there's just like I don't know. There's some moments when I just like it takes me back to that time, and then like you know, my heart like starts racing and stuff, and I'm like I don't know what's happening. I mean like obviously it still like goes through my head sometimes. She doesn't trust you, bro. That's that's the thing. You broke her heart. She doesn't trust you anymore. And being a guy, you can't explain cheating to her. You can't. <laughs> you can't fucking explain it to her. That's going to be like the greatest dilemma any guy has to face. When they cheat and they get caught, now I got to explain some shit. Fuck. See, what I do, whenever I get in a relationship, I always tell them, just in case I cheat, it's not my fault. Blame dick. <laughs> And just like that feeling is probably like the worst feeling in the world. Your heart stops. Like, I just like want to cry sometimes just thinking about it. Cause just like imagining you with someone else is like the worst feeling in the world. And like, I don't know, just like thinking about that, it still like hurts me. And I have like, I've cried several nights just because of what happened. I know, I'm sorry. I. I know if I had to, I know if, uh, obviously you're an amazing girl, you would never do it. But if I had to imagine you with someone, I'd be crushed also. So sorry I had to put you through that. But again, I promise you, it'll never happen again. I know. See, you can't, you can't make those type of promises, bro. You can't say you won't because you're not in control of Dick. You're not in control of Dick. Dick has its own mind, bro. You're not in control. The only thing you could say is, I will try harder. I will try harder. That's just what it is, bro. Is there something, is there anything like more that I can do, you think? That, or is it just? So I honestly just think it's gonna like take a little bit of time and for me to see that you could like still go out without me and like be fine. Like even if I have to like text your friends to like make sure you're yeah. okay, just so I know you're not lying. I mean, I don't want you to have to resort to texting my friends to... I know. I mean, like, when I, like, picture you with another girl, I just think, like, I'm not good enough, and it makes me feel insecure. Like, am I not pretty enough? Do I not do enough for you? Listen, it's not because you're not pretty enough. It's not because you're not nice enough. It's not because you don't cook the best meal. After a while, pussy gets tiring. Like, after a while, fucking the same woman, the pussy, it's, it's like, I'm not attracted to you no more. Some guys actually resort to not getting a re erection because remember dick is is its own mind dick is not us dick is its own mind so if dick is not attracted to you that's because he's seen you too much right he, dick seen you too much if it, we've done everything so now we naturally get bored we're not going to tell you hey i'm tired of you but that's just what it is he's tired of you and the reason why guys go out and get something else they just want a new face it's not pussy because if you put 
if a guy put his dick in a glory hole to another pussy, he's not going to care. It's pussy, right? But what changes things is the face. It's the it's a, it's a different face. I want to be able to experience what it's like when another woman goes, eh, there is sex. That's just what it is. I, I want I want to see that experience through a different face. I've seen yours a million times. I want to see another woman moan. I want to see another woman give blowjobs. It's just like, it's the face. I'm attracted to a different woman's face. You know what I mean? It's not, like you can give me all the pussy in the world. I'll still get tired of it. But you can't explain that to a woman. As soon as they hear, oh, I'm tired of you, everything else goes out the window. But I understand, bro. I don't agree. I don't think guys should cheat. But I understand. I understand when a man cheats. I understand what he's going through. I understand. It's the male period, bro. The male period is the the ability to want something else. It's like I want something else this month. Sometimes twice a week. And you can't explain that period to a different woman. That's just where it is. We move on. Like, there's a million thoughts that, that go through my mind. And like, I'm always thinking, there's probably better girls out there that he's going to be into. And clearly, I'm not good enough. I mean, you don't have to think that way. Like, I tell you all the time, like, you and me are perfect. We're made for each other. You do. I mean, you go above and beyond to do anything for me. Um, I mean, like, I still feel like, you know, after a year or so, like, a lot of people start to get, like, bored in their relationship. I feel like, I don't know, I still, like, we're, I feel like we're still in, like, the honeymoon stage. Like, there's still the same excitement as when we first met, just because, you know, you know you're my type. Exactly my type. Hope. But I don't know what that other girl looked like, so. I don't know either, so. <laughs> yes, you do. You remember everything about that night, and you enjoyed it. Don't play dumb. <sighs> oh. I know. You've been making me feel good, which I really do appreciate recently. I mean, I've been trying. Like, the least I can do. I'm just, I'll try to work on it. Try to forget. And you make me so happy, and I love you. And I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. So I knew I had to give you another chance. And you know, like, I see so much in you. Like, we just, like, push each other. And I don't know, I feel like we just make each other better people. No, I mean, yeah, you, I mean, you and me are like, we're pretty much the same person. We're, you're the girl, you're the girl version of me. I'm the guy version of you. Like, our personalities are literally identical. We're both crazy, social, outgoing people. And who knows, like, what's going to happen, but I just, like, want to be with you forever. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm the same way. Like, I don't, I don't like... Bro, you, you're digging yourself a hole, bro, because if you do it once, you'll do it again. I promise you. Which is, it's better to never, ever cheat than to cheat and try not to do it again, because it's going to be harder. Because now if you've experienced what other pussy feels like. You experience another woman's body. It's like, fuck, there's so much out there. And it's, it's like crack, bro. You never do crack once. You try it, and then you continue. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's better to not touch it at all. Yeah, bro. Don't, like, right now you're giving her promises, and she thinks you'll do better. But we all know it's horse shit. You're, you're going to do it again. That's just where it is. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So like, share, subscribe, and get me there. Mm -hmm.